It's an exciting day for Jennifer Quilty. She's an early childhood educator and a daycare owner in Mount Pearl. And she's trying to upgrade her education, something that takes time and money. Every three years we had to recertify ourselves and sometimes it takes a lot of time. We have to do 40 hours in three years. And when you think about it, being a mom myself and also being on ECE, it's the time that it takes to do that. When we have this little pocket change, 2,500, it's not a lot. It's definitely a mortgage payment. It's something that we need. A report released earlier this year showed that Newfoundland and Labrador only has enough regulated childcare spaces for 14% of children under the age of 12, which is half the national average. For some parents, the province's childcare situation is desperate. Government is hoping today's announcement will help keep the ECEs they have working and help bring more on board. Education Minister Krista Lynn Howell said 150 people have joined the ECE system in some form this year, but couldn't say how many they'd lost over the same time. We have much more to do. There's certainly room to grow. Uh, we don't claim to have it 100% figured out right now today, but we're continuing to work on things that we can implement, measures that we can use to continue to attract people to the profession. ECEs can now get a $2,500 grant after finishing their certification and $2,500 more for certification renewals, up to a total of $7,500. Sky Taylor, with the Association for Early Childhood Educators, says today's announcement will help address some of the issues that keep people from staying in the profession. The top contender has been uh, wages and uh, benefits for, for um, staff. Also, um, good and fair workplace conditions. So things like bursaries and that help to support that. And as Minister Howell has said, it's one, one step, it's one part, one piece of, of the puzzle. This new grant started September 1st and will replace the old bursary program, which will end next June. Janelle Kelly, CBC News, St. John's.